So I'm gonna be needing half cup cocoa powder, one and a half cup of full cream milk, half cup full cream milk. Now don't you fret, I'm going to have all the ingredients and the exact measurements used in my description box. One cup of cooking cream, a cup full of vanilla essence, with or without your vanilla essence, you're still going to get your ganache, but I love that vanilla flavor. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, level tablespoons of cornstarch, now I love the taste of coffee in my ganache. It is optional, you don't have to put it, but I just like a little bit of coffee. A teeny tiny bit of coffee, less than a gram of coffee goes in. Last but not the least, a full cup of sugar. Now remember, you can choose to make it three quarter uh, a cup of sugar. It depends on how sweet you want your ganache to be. My chocolate cake is already extremely delicious. So I don't really need to use all of the sugar. It's still going to be delicious. So let's just say three quarter cup of granulated sugar. Everything is right in this pot. So I'm just going to whisk it around and take it over to the gas stove. My witch's broom. Magic is about to start. <laughs> if these were bed knobs and broomsticks, I could fly using this whisk. But today, the magic that I am brewing it's my chocolate ganache without chocolate. So I'm gonna pan down, put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. So it's gonna simmer. Remember, very low heat. You don't want your milk to burn. Can you see the heat there? While it's simmering, you're going to keep staring until it begins. I want you to see just how low the heat is. See? So that's just how low it should be. Because you don't want your sugar or uh, your cream to burn. You can see that our chocolate ganache is getting all set. Remember, we're supposed to cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. We're done like 11 minutes right now. So any moment from now, our ganache will be ready. Oh my goodness. And this sure tastes delicious. Remember your heat level lowest level on your gas stop. Can I hear someone clap? Clap, clap, clap. Magic. <laughs> chocolate ganache without no chocolate. Now the last ingredient for our chocolate ganache today. I'm going to be cutting in about two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Look at that. This should suffice. Now you can choose to use salted butter, but I like to put a pinch of salt into my ganache. So I like to be in control of the salt level. So I use unsalted butter. This is going to give it that glistering, shiny look that we all love in a good quality chocolate. So I'm just gonna 
turn up the heat at this point. I think we're done here. In goes my pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Our chocolate ganache is ready so it is time for us to put it into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes I want it to cuddle up a bit to get a bit thicker so I can use it to glaze my chocolate cake and out comes my cake stand see how moist this is <laughs> this is so moist Oh my goodness, I can't wait to dig in. Look at, look at how moist it is. Okay. Whoa. Delicious. You don't get this lucky with strawberries all the time. These ones are really delicious. You can choose to slice off the top of your cake if you feel it is not too even. Maybe the cake is way too high, but that is not the case today. Cake is relatively okay. I like the length and everything. So I'm just gonna slice it in two and then glaze one part of it. It is time to glaze our chocolate ganache on our cake. It is time, but no time. I have to be super fast here. Now I want you to see how well our ganache has taken. Can you see? Now this isn't a birthday cake, this is dessert. So we don't want to waste the whole day here. We're going quickly going to glaze this, okay? Mm. Yes, uh, food is ready. 